Today I will be showing you a new and updated method to create a hyper-realistic AI influencer and other images using free AI tools. Since my last video about running Focus with Google Colab, I found a game-changing solution that lets you create for hours uninterrupted without encountering any errors. And later in the video, I will show you ways you can use the various generated images to help you make money online. With this method, you can just run Focus using the Kaggle GPU. It can be used with Mac and PC, and Kaggle gives you 30 free hours per week of GPU usage so you will not get errors while using Focus. I will be sharing important tips and tricks throughout this video, so make sure to follow through so that you don't get stuck with errors. Let's dive into it. Go to Kaggle.com. Sign in or register if you don't have an account already. You can register with Google or an email account. Kaggle is safe to use, but I recommend not using your primary or personal email account if you can. After going through the process and agreeing on privacy and terms, you need to verify your email. Once you are logged in, click on Create a New Notebook. Here in the right section, you need to click on Get Phone Verified and verify your phone number. It is very important to first verify your account using your phone number. Skipping this step will result in errors, and you won't be able to run Focus on Kaggle. After you have verified your phone number, go to my Kaggle code link in the description below, open, and click on the three dots on the right. When you click on the Copy and Edit Notebook button, it will be copied to your own Kaggle notebook. In here, go to the Session Options section on the right. Under the Accelerator, choose a GPU. Under Persistence, choose Variables and Files and make sure the internet icon is on. Like I mentioned before, if you do not verify your account using your phone number during the account creation stage, you won't see this internet icon and you will get errors during this process. So make sure you do this if you haven't already. Now go to the Start button on top and click on it and wait till you see the green light. When you see this green light, go to the first cell and click on the play button. Let this run, it will take quite a few minutes. After the first cell is done, scroll down until you see Start the Web UI. You will see two options. One is starting the web UI with ngrok, and below is option two, starting the web UI with Remote Mo. In order to run Focus, we need to run either ngrok or Remote Mo. I personally use Remote Mo, but I will show you how to use both in case one doesn't work for you for some reason. I will first show you option 1, starting the web UI with ngrok. But before we run this cell, we need to get a new ngrok token and paste it here. Go to ngrok.com, click on sign up and go through the sign up process to create an account. Click on go to email to verify your account and go through the process. Once you are logged in and see this page, click your auth token on the top left and copy this code. Go back to Kaggle, paste it here and run this cell. After the cell runs for a minute or two, you will see running on local URL link. Look for this link that ends with ngrok-free.app and click on it. When you see this page, click on Visit Site and it will direct you to the Focus interface. The other and the better option is to run option 2, starting the web UI with Remote Mo. Ngrok has a 1 gigabyte bandwidth limit and resets monthly. You could register again with another email and continue using with a different account, but if you don't want this, you can run Focus using Remote Mo. I personally use Remote Mo option, and I haven't run into any issues yet. To use this, click on this play button and run the cell. Wait for the line that says App Started Successfully, and when you see the link that ends with remote.mo, click on it, and the Focus interface will open. A tip here, sometimes when you run the first cell and then run the remote mo cell, you might encounter an error. In this case, simply run the first cell again and remote mo cell again, and you should be good to go. We are now in the new version of the Focus interface. When you click on Advanced, you will see this section on the right. In Preset, I usually pick Initial or Realistic. When you click on Realistic, Focus Auto generates a negative prompt for you. Negative prompt is where you can input what you don't want, such as deformed fingers, blurred images, and so on. You can always delete, replace, or add on to this. For the performance, I honestly don't see too much difference between quality and speed in the generation time, so I usually just stick with quality. Under Image Number, you can adjust the number of images you want to generate. In random, you find the seed settings. If you check random, you will generate new images every time. If you turn it off and enter a specific seed number, it creates images with the same or very similar look. Under the style tab, you can leave it as default or click on focus enhance or art style hyperrealism. Under model, you can leave it as default or change the refiner to juggernaut XL or realistic stock photo. In advanced, you can also play around with the guidance scale which defines how much weight your prompt should carry and image sharpness defines the soft and hardness of the edges. I usually leave it at default settings. Now when you click on input image below, more tabs will open. 
and under Image Prompt, when you click on Advanced, you will see the Face Swap and Pyrocanny option which we will use shortly. Under In Paint or Out Paint tab, you can improve details like eyes or hands, and you can also extend the image to the left, right, top, and bottom. We will first try to generate an image with just text prompts. If you are new to huh? this, an easy way is to start with a very simple prompt of what you want, or go to Civit AI and go through the images and copy the prompt from an image you like and modify it. Using the same prompt doesn't mean that you will get the same image as what you see in Civit AI, but it will give you a baseline to test and modify, such as poses and facial features. Go to Civit AI, then click on the Models tab. You will see different tabs like clothing, base models, poses, background, tools, building, food and vehicles to reference your prompts. Go under Models tab, type in Instagram model and find an image you like. I copied the prompt of this realistic image and pasted the prompt in Fucus, changed the setting to realistic and quality, and chose one by one aspect ratio. When you hit generate, you can see the process of the model being made. Let's take a look. I like these images. They are not the same as the original image, but they look realistic and have a similar feel. If you are happy with the generated images, make sure to click on this button to save the images. Let's try another prompt and generate. These are good head and shoulder portraits. I am using double brackets in my prompt here. Brackets are used to increase the weight to emphasize. You can use single, double, or triple brackets. 1.4 means a weight is specified, and double or triple bracket increases the emphasis. But that being said, do not use more than four. Here's a post in GitHub about emphasis in prompts. I have left the link in the description below. You can reference these prompts to see what you get, but remember that you will get a lot of hit or miss because prompting is a trial and error process. Now we are going to generate another one with the same seed and the same prompt, but with a slight change, I added dark blonde hair. Let's generate. When we compare this to our previous generation, we can see the same and very similar faces with lighter hair. So as I mentioned before, with the same seed and same prompt, you generally should get similar results. Let's now generate an entire body image. I typed this simple prompt indicating full body portrait, wide angle lenses, and I specified that the feet are touching white sand. I also added that the model looks like Megan Fox. I am very happy with this. She does look like Megan Fox and it gave us a full body portrait. It is sometimes tricky to generate a head-to-toe portrait of an entire body, but here are some tips that might help. Setting the aspect ratio to 1 to 2 or 2 to 3. Writing prompts like full body portrait, wide angle lens, including details about shoes, toes, where and how the model is standing, could help with the generation. Now let's move on to the face swap and pyrocanny features. You can select face swap and upload a base image of a face that you want to imitate and insert a reference image and select pyrocanny to imitate the pose. I have uploaded images that I previously generated and also included the same prompt to generate this image on the left and included head to toe full body portrait colon 1.4 and standing on white sand with bare feet touching the sand to add to the prompt. I also increased the weight to one. As you can see, it gave us four slightly different images, but maintained the pose. Now let's try the face swap option with just text prompt. I changed the prompt to posing on white sand instead of standing to get different poses. Let's generate. It didn't fully honor the head to toe full body portrait prompt since we didn't have an image for Pyrocanny. Plus the face swap image is a headshot, but it did give us different poses and it reflected the face pretty well. And I'm not sure what's happening here, but we can easily fix this using InPaint. I am now going to try face swap and Pyrocanny without the original text prompt to compare. I used a previously generated image for the face swap and a stock photo for Pyrocanny. As you can see, without the original prompt, the faces look quite different, but it mirrored the pose in Pyrocanny. I like this image overall, so let's try to improve her eyes and her mouth using InPaint. Just highlight the areas you want to fix, and let's see what we get. This is not bad. Now let's try the OutPaint function and extend this image to the left, right, top, and bottom, and generate. As you can see, it did a good job extending the image. Here's a tip. Now when you are generating, sometimes but very rarely, you might get an error like this. This happened to me only once so far. But when this happens, just go back to your remote Mo section in your Kaggle notebook and click on the remote.mo link again, and Fucus should open up again. Some important information here. As I mentioned, Kaggle gives you 30 hours per week of free GPU runtime, and individual sessions can run up to nine hours at a time. So when you are done using Fucus, Go back to Kaggle and make sure to end your session each time by clicking here. To check how much usage time you have left, click on this top right icon and you can see your accelerator quota. You can also click on settings and check your detailed GPU usage. If you click on this info icon, you can read up about the details. If you need more GPU time, you can create another account using a new email and verify the account with a different phone number like from a friend or family. Kaggle only allows one account per user and you won't be able to use the same phone number again. 
and make sure you don't generate anything that's NSFW or your Kaggle account will get banned. But if you have a good GPU, then you can install Fucus on your computer and it will run faster and you will be able to generate whatever you want. But note that the minimal requirement is 4GB NVIDIA GPU memory and 8GB RAM. Now, I want to show you what other things Fucus is capable of generating. I have typed wide-angle lens 1960s vintage red Ferrari as the prompt. These vintage Ferrari images are stunning, and I like the background as well. With the images you create, you can start an Instagram theme page and promote digital or physical products through affiliate links and earn a commission for every sale through your referral link. You can create posts and also repost top performing reels such as this one. Reels are better than stories because reels are shown to people interested in that niche, but stories are only shown to the followers. You can find digital and physical affiliate products from companies like ClickBank, Digistore24, or CJ. For example, in ClickBank, they have thousands of products you can choose from, and they have all the sales material and funnels ready for you to use. All you need to do is to create an account, pick a good, high-converting product, get your customized affiliate link and promote it in the bio, posts, and stories. But always remember that consistency is key no matter what niche or platform you pick.